I found this odd-looking artifact in a 19th to 20th century themed restaurant, about 35 inches long and 12 inches wide. It's a metal cage with a clamping action by pulling the handle. I asked the waitress, but she didn't know what it was either. Could it be an old-school version of a sealant gun? What is this thing? It's a foot-operated potato planter from the 1920s. It works by first driving the wedge-shaped tip into the ground by pushing down with your foot, then by pushing forward, the planter simultaneously opens a hole in the ground and allows a seed potato to drop into the hole. A spring then closes the tip when it is pulled out of the ground, letting you move on to wherever you want to plant the next seed. I found this in a cupboard of a deceased family member's old farmhouse and we have no clue what it could be. We thought it might be for lifting pickles out of a jar of juice. My mom was excited to find out what it was. Any idea what is this thing? It's an old mayonnaise maker from the 1930s. The top of the lid has a little depression. It's a bit like a funnel for pouring the oil. I sold one of these recently that had the recipe embossed into the side of it. I bought a house from an older Muslim couple, and this was the only thing they left. It is about the size of my hand, the top is hinged for refilling I guess, and measures approximately 7 inches tall by 4 inches white and 3 inches deep. It was mounted on the wall in the kitchen. What is this thing? It's a cast iron match holder from the 1940s. It has a flip up top where matches can be inserted, and textured striker plates on each side for striking. We also had the exact same piece when we bought our house. It was mounted next to a gas stove. At first we thought it was a toothpick holder, but later we found out it was for matches. What is this odd lighthouse type structure near Nassau in the Bahamas? It looks as if there was a bridge connecting it to the island close to it, or a lower boat dock. I am unsure what the use for it would be, or when it would have been constructed, but it intrigues me. Does anyone know what this is or what it was used for? That is an abandoned coral world in Nassau. The coral world was once the hottest attraction. It was a combination aquarium and beach resort that opened in 1987 just off the western edge of Crystal Cay. Its signature lighthouse-like tower observatory was built on an artificial island and is linked to the mainland of Nassau via an elevated causeway. It was damaged by Hurricane Floyd in 1999, but its ruins remain defiant and mystical, picturesque and foreboding. What is this thing I found sitting up in a family member's attic? It looks like it's been there a while from the previous owner. The tall tube opens up and looks to be some kind of pump. Any info on maker age would be appreciated. It's a Walesco R200 atomic plant. These were available in stores in the period between 1958 and 1968 with very low sales, due to the fact that people were scared of anything with the word atomic on it, as it was associated with the atomic bomb. There was nothing wrong in terms of functionality, safety, or quality with this steam engine. It just came out to the market in the wrong period in history. So Walesco quit producing them in a short time. Atomic energy proved to be unpopular at the time. As of today, they are very scarce and difficult to find in good condition. Usually, these are very expensive. What is this cup with an intricate design attached to a chain? I found it in my grandparents' house. It's about the size of my palm and maybe 4 inches in diameter. It's too large to be a piece of jewelry. And if you look closely, the chain isn't attached the way jewelry would. It seems looped. The cup is about an inch deep, heavy, and has no writing or numbers. Any ideas? It's a 19th century Tastavin. It was historically used by wine producers to inspect the wine. The indented designs reflect the feeble candle light, highlighting the hues of wines, so that they are visible in darkened wine cellars. With the advent of electricity they're somewhat obsolete. They are however still used by some sommeliers as little sipping cups to check that the wines have no flaws before serving. What is this old electrical equipment I found in my university's physics lab? They let me have it for $40, and it's pretty big. I've been looking and haven't found much about it online. I'm planning to contact some old professors and see what they know about it. Does anyone have a clue? 
It is called a potentiometer and looks like 1930s Bakelite construction. They made these specifically for students in the 1940s to 50s. It's a measuring instrument used with a galvanometer to determine the electromotive force. It draws no current from the source when balanced and is calibrated with a standard cell. What is this thing about 15 inches long, made of wood and steel, and very heavy? My mother found it in a state sale and sent me this picture. She said she spent hours searching the internet for it. I'm sure it's a tool of some sort. I just don't know what it would be used for. Does anybody know what this is? It's a turpentine hack tool, patented by Edward Blount of Quitman, Georgia on February 4, 1896. It is used to chip the pine trees, so they would exude a resinous gum used in making turpentine and resin. What is this thing I received as a Christmas gift? I cannot for the life of me figure out what its purpose is. My father-in-law has a brilliant talent for finding myself antique oddities as gifts. It looks like something to hold rather than open, but I'm so stumped. Presuming it's made of steel, it had no markings on it that I can see. Does anyone have an idea? It's an antique surgical mouth gag. It is historically used to keep patients' mouths open during surgery to prevent suffocation. The gag may also have been used to keep the mouth open, allowing mouth or throat surgery. For example during the removal of tonsils and tooth extraction. It is English in origin, dating from between 1860 and 1880. What is this thing I found with some old tools? It doesn't seem to attach to anything. It can lock in place, and the middle bit turns round unraveling two straps of fabric. My granddad was a stonemason, and he has no idea either. So maybe it's nothing to do with tools at all. I've tried searching for a photo of it on Google, and nothing comes up either. The two handles are wood with brass on either end. They turn around and two little bars at the bottom can be pulled up to lock it in place. I don't know the age, but it looks and feels to be quite old. I'm stumped. Any help would be appreciated. It's a Victorian school book strap, used for carrying books. To use flip down the small metal U in the center, then rotate the two wooden handles around each other, one direction to uniformly tighten both straps, or the reverse to loosen them. What is this thing? Each piece is about 10 centimeters tall and screws together. It is made from brass and glass, and the bit on the right acts like a syringe. I found it in the attic of a house from the 1890s in the US. Any ideas as to what this might be? Please tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.